Now that we've learned what we needed to learn about sequences, let's go on to series. Okay, so what is a series? Well, it's not that difficult. A series is simply adding the terms of a sequence. Adding or summing the terms. Adding the terms of a sequence. Okay, and for a series we use SN. Okay, so SN represents the sum of the first N terms. So SN is the sum of the first first N terms. Okay, so that might sound a little bit up in the air, but for example, if I'm talking about S, well, let's make it easy, S4, it means it's the sum of the first four terms. So it's term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 plus term 4. Okay, and if I were to talk about S99, that would be the sum of the first 99 terms. So term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 all the way up to term 99. Okay, so obviously we get two types, well, more than just two, but we're going to look at two types of sequences. We're going to look, uh, sorry, series. We're going to, going to look at the arithmetic series. Okay, and we are going to have a look at the geometric series. Okay, and they are simply called arithmetic and geometric because the terms are arithmetic or geometric. In other words, when we add up the terms of the arithmetic sequence, it's called the arithmetic series. So here, Tn is still just A plus n minus 1 d. Every term is represented by this, where every term in the geometric series is also represented by a r n minus 1. Okay, obviously the formula for s n is different. Okay, but we'll look at the formulas a little bit later. Oh. Okay, let's just look at one more thing. What if they ask me, find the sum of terms, let's make it 40, two terms, two terms 60. Find the sum of the term 40 to term 60. So um, I have to add up this, okay? I have to take term 40 plus term 41 plus term 42 all the way up to term 60 okay how am I going to do that because my formula s60 starts from term 1 so let me just put this bit this side s60 actually starts from term 1 term 1 plus term 2, plus all the way up to term 39, okay, and then 39 to 40, all the way up to 60. So S60 is not going to do it. But look at, some, look at something very interesting here. If I take the first 60 terms and I remove these terms, then I'll have term 40 to term 60. What are the terms that I'm removing. Well, it's the first 39 terms added up together. So this is S39. Okay, so the, to find the sum of terms 40 to term 60, I need to take the sum of all the terms up to 60 minus the sum of the first nine, 39 terms and that will leave me with the sum of terms 40 to 60. Okay, it's not really the way we write it, but just for your understanding, I'm going to write it like that. Okay, um, I think that's more or less the basics um, when it comes to series. As long as you get at this stage that a series is when I add up the terms of a sequence. 
Okay, we get two types, arithmetic and geometric, and next up we're going to look at the sigma notation, which is a short way of writing up summing the terms, and then later on we'll look at the two series more in depth. See you around.